Good afternoon, Floss Tube. My name is Mandy. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Uh, you can find me on Instagram under stitchingb82, where I uh, post a lot of my stitching updates and uh, just some normal life stuff, including uh, pictures of my cat or what I'm reading, um, fun things like that. <laughs> Speaking of the cat, she's now going zoom zoom crazy. <laughs> um, with me sitting in my dining room though, it's not like you're going to see her uh, running around behind me. So, um, I, uh, well, today is Saturday, January 30th and, uh, yeah, so I did miss, uh, filming it last week. I just, I didn't have the energy. I, uh, it's, it's been a weird, I don't know, I, I, I can't even explain it. Just, um, work is kind of kicking my butt at the moment, and so there's days that after I'm done working, I just kind of hang out. There's even been some nights that I've taken naps after work. Of course, then that turns into the vicious cycle of staying up till way past my bedtime. But, uh, you know, hey, it's what we're dealing with right now, right? So, um, <laughs> the cat, she's going crazy. We, um... We received this awesome cat tree for Christmas. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but there's like all kinds of different levels to it and everything. And uh, so she'll run from, and she just did it. She'll run from the couch and then she like bounces on the different tiers. And um, the tallest one is like, I don't know, maybe um, 12 to 18 inches, like a square. It's got some padding around the edge or whatever. She spends a lot of time just hanging out and chilling up there. She'll start to chase her tail while she's up there, you know, mind you, just on this little foot square. She's hilarious. So, <laughs> sorry for the distraction on that. <clears throat> um, so I have a finish this week and I have a, a few whips to share. Um, like, um, I feel like I've done decent amount of stitching I've uh, but really just on a few p different pieces I guess even just in the uh, past two weeks since I didn't film last week I am uh, working away through the full coverage fanatics uh, 21 and 21 so I've got the piece to show you for that I just finished the book last night for the same uh, Facebook group uh, their monthly book challenge along with a couple of other semi-sane um, challenges with those I guess and uh, so yeah we'll go ahead and get showing those here in a minute um, but the first thing I'm gonna show is my uh, is the finish that I have uh, so it would have been two weeks ago now I guess uh, after my last video um, Aaron Tumor, uh, Tumor Teeny Stitcher hosted a uh, quirky Quaker sale and I am a member of her channel and so we had a Zoom meetup and so we got to uh, stitch on a quirky Quaker uh, from um, Deanna at Whimsical. Oh my goodness, why can I not? Wow, why am I blanking on the name of that? I am so sorry. Bear with me one quick second, because I know I've got it handy right here. Darling and Whimsy Designs. That's the name of it. Goodness, I don't know where my mind was going that I could not think of that. Um, yes, Darling and Whimsy Designs. And so I stitched on this adorable little fox. Ooh. I have my sliding glass door blinds open, and so hence you can see it in my glasses, so that's the um, glare. Um, but I did this adorable little fox, and this um, these pieces are so cute and the perfect design to be able to grab that amazing variegated floss. And I knew I wanted something super variegated, and I wanted it to be quirky, because that's what it is. And so I went with this adorable color and cotton in the lava lamp, and that is variegated from pink and purple, and oh my goodness. This was such a fun little piece to stitch up. I had, um, we were on the call for, Zoom call for, I don't know, almost three hours, I guess. And I was like 10 minutes away from finishing it when um, the call ended. And so as soon as the call ended, I was able to finish that up and I got it done. So this was a start and finish, as Michelle calls it, Seth, um, Michelle Bendy. And uh, so, oh my goodness, it is so freaking cute. I love it. 
and uh, so yeah, it it was such a quick little stitch and perfect uh, to be able to uh, sit there and chit chat with some wonderful ladies while uh, getting this done. And most of us got them done on the call or very, very close to being done. Um, so it was so cute. This is on a piece of 16 count picture this plus in Tyco. It is the same piece that I stitched the pumpkin on that I know um, if you've been here before, uh, you would have seen. And <laughs> I meant to say this in the beginning. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for checking me out. I appreciate you. And uh, if you are a returning viewer and so or and or subscriber, thank you. Appreciate you as well. So this is um this was out of a just cross stitch um, magazine that I did the little pumpkin. And so I mean this was a decent size piece. So I decided to just stitch that up. Add that to here and eventually I'd like to add it to my little stitching journal. I'd like to do some more of those, and so maybe I'll do a page with, I don't know, two or three, depending on how big, um, how they'll fit on the page that I'm using. So yeah, that was fun. And so the next piece that I'm going to show, or my, the first whip that I'll share, it is Summer Stained Glass from Ursula Michael. Um, uh, this piece is so pretty. This is a restart that I did earlier this year, I think. I had stitched, um, started stitching it a couple years ago. If you've seen before, you would have heard the story. Um, but I am an Ada stitcher. I love my Ada. Um, but this piece is filled with quarter stitches and I was not liking how it was turning out. Just my own personal opinion on the piece. You absolutely can do quarter stitches, fractional stitches, whatever they're called on um, Ada. But the way they were turning out, I just, I wasn't happy with it. And so I decided to try it out on, um, I got a piece of Monaco even weave and, um, it is a 28 count, two strands over two. So, um, equivalent to a 14 count. And, um, it was just specifically in this black bar right here with all of the quarter stitches. It, it was really looking patchy, I guess. Um, it just like to me looking at this picture it looks pretty full but the way it, it just I wasn't liking the way it was turning out so I restarted it <clears throat> and here's what I have where I'm at now I um I still have it on the Q-snap so um I just pulled the one bar off and um so I'm just working on the border at the moment there is a row of black a row of blue and then two rows of black I would like to try to get the whole border done all the way around like I did the first time around. Um, biggest thing, maybe just making sure that I have enough fabric that I didn't mismeasure. Um, I know I don't have a whole lot of margin, um, but I just want to at least make sure I have plenty um, that I'm not going to end up stitching off. So this is not all the way to the very bottom yet, and so I'm not 100% sure how much further I have to go. So I would like to at least make sure that, you know, I'm gonna have enough room and that the border matches up because the first time I stitched it, that border did not match up. I know I um, I remember having to do some frogging on that because it just, it didn't line up. I miscounted at one point. And so, um, enjoyable. Um, it really hasn't been that hard to switch over to um, stitching from an Ada to an even weave. Uh, haven't really missed the whole like stitching over two where I'm you know only on one type of thing um and I obviously haven't gotten to any of the area that is going to have those um uh, fractional stitches yet so I'm looking forward to getting to that area but I definitely want to get through the border first so that again I know I have enough margins and all of that good stuff and then I'll start um getting to some areas that I can start playing around with those uh smaller stitches and um start figuring out that. But uh, I learned, um, watched some YouTube videos about learning how to stitch uh, over two, and so that definitely helped. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and show the next whip that I've been working on. This has been my focus piece for uh, 21 and 21 for full coverage. Uh, Semi Sand Stitchers has a um, monthly focus challenge that for um, you stitch on one piece for that month and um, checking in every thousand stitch increments. And um, so yeah, I 
I don't remember how many stitches I've done so far in this piece this year. I know it's been uh, over 4,000 because I've done four check-ins with that every thousand stitch. Um, well, I got the first book in full coverage, Fanatics, the biggest one done, the, I think it was Little Women, um, that had like 44, was it 4,490 stitches or something like that? And I just got that done last night, so I guess I've, that's how many stitches I've done this year so far. Um, but piece we're talking about is Shooting Star um, by Carolyn Manning Designs. I absolutely love this piece. I just, I'm loving the colors. Um, so I have figured out that um, by doing the 21 in 21, it will take me very close to a completion, um, project completion, but not quite, so... Um, but that's where we're at now. Um, I don't, I've, I finished page two recently. And so digging into page three, um, page two finish isn't that far over. I don't remember exactly where it was at. Um, but this purple here is going to be the very center, um, that purple star, like, you know, right in the very middle. So I'm right at the very top of that. So this is not a large piece by any means. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just adoring the colors. So um, these white spaces through here, yes, they are stitched. I um, I think I posted this on uh, Instagram, and, or not Instagram, and um, probably full coverage fanatics and someone asked me if I was stitching the white. Yes, it's in B5200. And I like the, um, like how it's filling out. So having it completely full, um, full stitched. I, I don't think I'd be happy if I just left those blank spots. So, um, but yeah, so here again is the center of the whole piece. Um, you know, so it'll be down. The whole piece is nine pages and I have two complete pages done, working into page three. And then, like I said before, I'm working down in the pages below just because I don't wanna like stop one of these little motifs just because it's a page break. Um, like, you know, stitching just a couple of stitches just because of the page break. With me having the digital pattern, it's working quite perfectly to be able to cross um, pages. So I love that. Needle uh, Minder is from Gina's Unique Boutique. It is hard for me to find things with uh, my name on it, so when I do, I have to snag those. Uh, this is stitched on a piece of 16 count white Ada, two threads, full cross. Get things out of my way here a little bit. And so the next piece that I'm gonna show, I have been working on this for another book challenge for the Full Coverage Fanatics um, Facebook group. If you are into full coverage, don't hesitate to check the Facebook group out if you're not already in it. Uh, just make sure to um, answer all of the questions that they have. They're really easy. I don't remember them being very difficult at all. I think just making sure that you're a cross stitcher and you know that you're gonna follow their rules and everything so um but definitely check it out they've had some uh, great challenges and everything the um for the month of january i know they had a bingo challenge i didn't participate i really don't i think i've only got three full coverage pieces and i just didn't want to deal with trying to figure out how to uh make things work or whatever so i think stitches is wanting to say hi but she's down here um so the next piece that I uh, have been working on is Mini Dirt Goddess. Uh, this is a heaven and earth design artwork by Carolyn Cavallaris, um, who has sadly passed, but oh my goodness, the colors are just gorgeous. I am happy to say this large block of white is done as of like, I don't know, midnight last night or so. Got that white done. Oh my goodness, it, has, it took me a lot. Um, I'm just loving the colors on this. And I know I've had a couple people look, um, excited to see this in the past, so hopefully they're watching. Another piece of 16 count white Ada, two strands full across. We are working our way through page two. And like I said, I got that white black done. It was large, um, you can tell. Uh, so I worked through here for a little while, then I went down and worked on some purple, went back to the white, but I really did focus on the per, um, on the white quite a lot to get through it. Um, that's thirty eight sixty five, and man, is it a lot. Um, 
but as you can see, this is the bottom of the page. So I did drop down to the um, page below it just to try to um, color complete a little bit that just had a couple of stitches left easy to be able to get onto. Um, I don't have Pattern Keeper, as I've said before, but I am using an iPad with um, books app that um easy to highlight and everything as i go along i just can't search so it's just a matter of flipping pages not a big deal i'm making it work um and one stitch in from here is the very center piece um center stitch of this entire piece what uh width wise um ways to go yet to the bottom i think um this is a mini but it's it's a decent size i mean um the q-snap i'm using is cobbled together pieces of an uh, eight by eight Q-snap snap and an 11 by 11 Q-snap that it didn't make eight by 11. It made more of a nine by nine. I'm not mad about it. Uh, great working space to be able to, uh, you know, like I said, be able to go down pages or whatever the case may be. So, uh, so a couple of these stitches are into page three, um, but otherwise that's how wide page two is going to be. Maybe about right there, work my way down. So, I, oops, sorry for bumping the table. I am working on, I think I'm using this for Great Gatsby, maybe, uh, for the Full Coverage Fanatics uh, Facebook um, book challenge. So they have different books listed that you stitch the number of pages times 100, I guess it is. So if the um, book is 449 pages, you stitch 4,490 stitches. So. Um, great way to be able to get going along. I guess you cannot work ahead on the different, um, like you can't work into February because it's not February yet, but you can play catch up. So um, I don't think I'm going to have this quite, well, I might, I think I may only be like 500 stitches away from um, that book. So I may go ahead and work on this today and try to get it done uh, tomorrow yet. But um, the other book, Pride and Prejudice, I'm using um, Mini Stitching Moon, and that's nowhere near. So I'll just be working ahead, um, working back and just kind of going ahead and um, playing catch up, I guess. So, another Gina's Unique Needle Minder. You will find out here in just a second just how much I love her needle minders. So that is all of the whips that I have to show. I, um, yeah, just, I really haven't worked on a whole, it's not like I've been bouncing around a lot that I'm just not showing different pieces. I, um, I've really just been focusing on those, I guess. And, um, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, one little thing that I have a plan for, um, I don't really plan ahead a whole lot, uh, as you've seen that I just kind of stitch whatever. I can say that February um, in Semi-Sane Stitcher Group is uh, starting the, um, for February is going to be Stitchopoly. Basically they have a board, they have different things like, um, so the properties are design names like Heaven and Earth or um, Primitive Needle or Lizzie Kate, different things like that. So each property value has a different number of stitches. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the traditional uh, version where you just roll whatever um, spot you land on, you stitch that many stitches and just trying to pass go however many times. I loved playing it last year. Uh, it's a great way to be able to uh, have little goals to be able to get a lot of progress on different pieces. So you can change projects each time you roll. You can work on just one piece, whatever the case may be. Um, they do have a password to join the group and I forget now what exactly that is. If you want to bear with me one quick second, I know exactly what it is. Sorry about that. If you uh, want to join Semi Saint Stitchers uh, Facebook group, I will link it below. They are um, opening membership now, um, but you do need to know a channel name that referenced you to it. So my channel name is Mandy Parker, um, and then the password is Lightsaber. I think just all one word. Um, but feel free to jump in and uh, join those challenges. Um, so I guess in terms of what I actually have planned is I got this uh, pattern from Lindy Stitches a while ago. I know I've shown it before in the haul. It is called We Three. Of course, gotta have something with the black cat, right? And uh, 
very cute design and uh i know the pattern calls for this like um green i think it's just a swigert uh green material and it dawned on me that i actually have something that's going to work perfectly um so it's a piece of ada in I don't know if it, oh grasshopper there it is um it's just one of those tubes the cat's going crazy again um, just one of those tubes of DMC Charles Craft um, material that I got from um, Joann's or something years ago. I was going to stitch something um, probably for my nephew on it, but I, who knows. But oh, it is green. It is a neon green, um, but it is stitched with just DMC 310. And then it, there's just some ecru, I think, for the, um, for the whiskers. Um, but otherwise, it's going to be... Um, a little brighter than I think what she calls for, but I'm not mad about it. It's, it is a bold green. It's definitely, it's looking a little yellowish, but it's definitely a neon green. But I think it's going to be a fun stitch to add that uh, DMC black and just have my kitty cats on there. So I thought of this last night and how um, I, it's going to be a perfect size piece. The piece is actually going to be a little, the material is going to be a little bit bigger than what this actually calls for. Um, but that's okay. I know in the instructions, it says that if stitched on a piece of 16 count or 32 over two, that it would fit in an eight by 10. So it, it might be a little bigger than an eight by 10 frame, but I think it's going to be perfect for this. So that's really looking not as bright is what it actually is. It's a really bold green, but it should be fun. So at some point I'll get that started. Um, so that's all I have for actual stitching stuff. I've got quite a little bit of haul. So if you're not interested in seeing all of that, then I will say goodbye and see you guys again next week. Hopefully, um, I have plans to come back next week. I had plans to come back last week and I just could not get the energy to do so. Um, but if I hope you'll stick around. Um, so I was on Gina's Unique Needleminders uh, Facebook group. She was having a sale a couple weeks ago. And um, I decided to uh, pick up these beautiful scissors. Ooh. And yes, they are like greenish and purple. Um, I think it said something about this was like cherry blossoms or something. So very pretty. They're, they're, a, little, they're a little pointy than what I normally use. They're a little bit bigger, but they're so pretty. And I definitely have a needle minder obsession because <laughs> I had to get some more needle minders. I uh, thought that leaf was very pretty and then a stack of books and uh, tea or coffee or whatever, but definitely love my books. Um, the one I can see says Outlander, Voyager, A Breath of Snow and Ashes. I don't know, I can't read all of the different titles on there, but I love books, and so I thought that was quite perfect. And I love friends, and so I had to get a smelly cat, and of course it's a black cat, so how can you go wrong? And then the actual, there you go, the cast from Friends. So, love the TV show, thought those would be fun needle minders. Strong magnets, love Gina's needle minders. And so, uh... If you watch Caroline from Off the Grid Needle, Needle Arts, beautiful, beautiful stitcher that she is, and bag maker, I decided that uh, when she was selling um, the bags that came with the Leo and Roxy floss that I had to jump on that, and um, I'm so glad I did. I cannot wait to stitch with these flosses. They are so pretty. They are so soft. Just I think these are going to be heavenly to stitch with. And so we've got very cranberry, and it is a beautiful red. And we have a green spruced up, beautiful green. And we've got cinnamon, really pretty brown. And then we have antique wedding dress. So I can't wait to stitch on those. Uh, because I did get the um, bag set, I did end up getting um, Michelle Bendy, uh, Bendy Stitches. Deanna from <laughs> Whimsical, Darling and Whimsical Designs. Um, and then Park Hopper Bart uh, did the little party cats. Um, so I did receive those in, by email. So I will be stitching those with these. And so a little notions pouch. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is 
quilted and like definitely got some thick batting in it. Such pretty, pretty bag making. This is my first um, ever tote bag. So here's the actual, the project bag. Hey, look at those cats. They're so cute. And um, some of them have their little party hats on. And uh, beautiful, beautiful bag. The inside is the same as the Notions bag. And it has a, where am I here? Her made by, so it's made in Canada. And then the other side says Ever Tote. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Well worth the money. And then uh, it was so packaged, um, so, so pretty, all wrapped in uh, tissue paper with a ribbon. And then it had a little thank you note and a zipper pull that I'll be adding to it. Cute little fish. <laughs> so cute. Fish bones, I guess. <laughs> so fun. Uh, so then I did sign up with the Bestitch Me's Fabric of the Month. Um, I'm sure everyone's, hopefully everyone's receiving it by now. Um, I did do the, like, rotating every other month from um, neutrals to the all color or whatever. So this month was a neutrals, and it was a piece of 16 count, right? Yeah, and then the 16 count club. Ada in Honey, so very, very pretty. Can't wait to uh, start stitching on her materials. I'm gonna have to find something to, uh, this is my fur. Um, well, I've got a couple of pieces of uh, Bestitch Me, but I haven't stitched on it yet. And then uh, Color and Cotton had a uh, grab bag sale going on. I don't know if it's still happening or not, um, but you could get a um, package of three pieces of material in Ada, probably linen or even wave, I don't know. I see Ada and that's what I go for. And uh, you don't know what colors you're gonna get. You don't know what sizes that they are. Uh, they are all supposed to be about eight by 12 cuts, um, but you don't know what size um, counts. And so here I got two packages of them. So I got six pieces and this beautiful green. I have no clue, maybe a 16 or an 18 count. I'll have to measure. Um, an inch to see what kind of count we're looking at. Um, so again, I don't know what color names these are, but oh my goodness, so pretty. So that's about true to color right there. Really pale blue, grayish. I like the subtle modeling in that. I don't like that. Not too fond yet of the like stark colors of that. Um, this one I'm thinking is a 14 count. I was thinking that this was the same color as my um, Berry Bird that was the June fabric of the month, but I compared, this is a lot lighter than that, but very pretty pink. Um, it's actually almost looking like my um, Forbidden, Fiber Flo um, Forbidden Fiber Company's uh, Winter Sparrow, but it's really pretty. And then I'm thinking this is either an 18 or a 20 maybe. Beautiful purple. So super small, um, but we'll try it. These are gonna be perfect for some smalls. No clue what I'm gonna stitch on any of these. Um, it's kind of a yellow, or it is yellow. Pretty. That one looks like that's probably a, maybe a 16 or an 18. And then the last piece of that is another pretty purple. So it did say that um, there were chances that you could get uh, duplicates if you bought multiple packs. But as you can see that they were all um, all unique colors and definitely sizes that I'm willing to uh, stitch on. A couple more pieces of haul here. Uh, so I decided to get the Halloween Quaker from Lila Studio. Um, Michelle Bendy has been stitching on this one for a while and she wanted to um, maybe start planning some Zoom calls while stitching on this. And so it's been in my uh, wish list for a while. It's like what better time to go ahead and uh, get it. So I uh, ordered that and it's stitched on a piece of murky. Um, picture this plus. And uh, when I was ordering the pattern, I got it from one, two, three stitch and they didn't have any murky. Um, so I was just trying to find something that would be, um, I don't wanna say comparable, but good to go with the colors. I do have the floss on order. I did decide to go with the called for, I think they're all classic colors. I've got those ordered from, um, stitches and things out of Fenton, Michigan, um, but they're waiting on a shipment of some of the colors that are on order. And so as soon as those come into uh, the shop, she'll get those out to me. So I'm hoping I can get the stuff in time um, by the time that Michelle can start her Zoom calls. Um, 
so that I can join in. And so I was looking through the fabric on 123 and I um, ended up going with a piece of really pretty purple. It is Picture This Plus J. And so, like I said, it's not so the, anywhere comparable to murky, but I'm hoping that this will look good. Ooh, look at, hopefully I can like that modeling. I'm, I haven't quite decided exactly which direction to, you know, put the modeling or whatever, but I think it's going to be really pretty. I know Michelle is stitching hers on a piece of purple that she dyed herself and so we'll do a final floss toss when I get those flosses in and make sure that that's going to work. Um, on that same order I wasn't sure exactly what some of the colors looked like you know you're looking at this little inch picture wasn't sure what it looked like and so I found a piece of icon again picture this plus um, this is too mint green to go with that so it's not actually going to end up working for um, the Halloween Quaker at all, but it's another piece. I mean, it's a 17 by 15, um, 17 by 25 piece, same piece that I just held out like size wise. I won't spread this one out, but pretty. So I'll have to figure out something to put on that for now. It'll go on my stash. And then, um, part of the order from stitches and things that I placed at another uh, point, forget now what all I was getting from that um but I ended up picking up a um Real Housewives cross stitch a Merry Little Christmas so cute so adorable I have not yet stitched any of their pieces but uh this was one of my favorites when it first came out and then the last piece of haul this is definitely not something that I normally stitch but I did fall in love with it when I first saw um I think it was when I saw Aaron to Martini uh stitcher stitching on it and um decided I had to have it it is mid midnight watch a blackbird designs this is my first blackbird I'm I it's like I said, it's definitely not anything that I normally stitch, not something that I go to, but it's got a black cat. How can you go wrong with that? I'm not one to stitch, you know, random alphabets or whatever, but I did get an idea when Erin was talking about this that she's not going to stitch the alphabet. I don't remember if she was going to put her name or initials and like the year. I don't remember exactly what she said, but I got the idea to put my cat's name and maybe the year that I adopted her which was 2018. So obviously I've got the alphabet. I can just um, chart out putting stitches and then like 2018 or something. So instead of stitching this whole thing, I'll move it up and um, move the border up. So no clue when I'm gonna start this. I haven't even looked at the thread colors or anything like that to try to decide what to stitch or you know on or whatever. Um, but I did, was placing an order anyway, so I figured I'd go ahead and get this. It might've been on sale. I don't remember um but decided to go ahead and get it for my stash so oops can't go wrong with a giant black cat sitting on a house hello <laughs> um so that's sorry for shaking the camera again um so that's really all that I have to show I mean that is all I have to show at the moment so I uh, really want to thank everybody for um sticking around if you've <laughs> stuck around this long I know not everybody likes the haul but had to share you know all of the good stuff that I've been getting and somewhat plans I guess um I am going to get back to stitching I do want to actually plan to go over to Joanne's maybe in a little while um see about getting some finishing stuff and uh see if maybe I can get some stuff FFO'd I want to um fully finished object is what that means. I want to get some stitching on this wall so that you guys actually have something really cool to look at behind me rather than just this stark cream wall and uh, see if I can get some things hung up. So, um, so that is it that I have for this week. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by, checking me out. And uh, if you are inclined to, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, like, stick around. And uh, until next week, I hope everyone has a great stitching week. I hope you've had a great couple weeks since I last uh, checked in. And um, yeah. so I do, um, I know that I have some comments to reply to yet, and I do plan to do that. So I'm not trying to ignore people. I just have not had the, I don't want to say mental capabilities. I just have not had the time 
I don't even want to say that I haven't had the time. I just not had the energy, I guess, to do much of anything at the moment. So I will get those replies uh, to you guys, though. So thank you so much for uh, stopping by and hanging out with me. And keep stitching, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.